Day 17 of oil in the Gulf. Better weather is allowing for more controlled burns. And this morning, a four-story containment dome arrived to help siphon oil leaking into the Gulf. The container still has to be lowered into the water, which could take two days. I'm Jessica Holly. St. Bernard Parish President Craig Tafaro says they are in trouble. It is now confirmed oil has reached the Chandelier and Freemason Islands, and St. Bernard doesn't have enough protective boom. ABC 26 News anchor Michael Hill joins us live from Shell Beach with the latest. Michael? Well, this afternoon, Craig Tafaro got a demonstration of this product. It's called Oil Spill Eater 2. He has grave concerns tonight about St. Bernard Parish and whether the oil is going to reach the marshes here in St. Bernard Parish, some 42 miles of marshland. The big concern started this morning when the Chandelier Islands, they got a confirmation that oil had actually reached that barrier island. Here's my report. A demonstration that brings an obvious sense of relief to St. Bernard Parish President Craig Tafaro on a day when he gets confirmation oil has reached two of his barrier island. If we had to spin it to a positive, uh, that if all we get is the Chandelier Islands, much easier to clean up than if we have to deal with oil into our marshes. But it's far from that simple and that predictable. So today the Louisiana National Guard built this pier to launch more boats to carry and put more boom in the water. St. Bernard Parish has asked for 300,000 more feet of boom to cover some 42 miles of marshland. Right now, it's still, it's still a guessing game. Uh, and it's, in this situation, we, we believe it's actually more difficult than an approaching storm. But a Dallas-based company claims it can take all the worry and time and millions or billions of dollars out of the equation with its oil spill eater, too biodegradable and non-toxic. And it is causing it to be broken down. Obviously what we're seeing on this small test is encouraging. The company's chairman claims he can clean up one gallon of the crude oil for just two dollars. We are the cheapest means in the world to clean up a gallon of crude oil. You have the solution right now to say to BP and to Deepwater and the EPA and the federal government that look, if you employ us, we can resolve all of this issue right now. Not only do I have it right now, I've had it 20 years. Stephen Pettigo says he's used his product for all branches of the military. He's even used it many times overseas. He says that he's waiting for BP, waiting for the governor, and he was going to do a demonstration for the governor this afternoon by actually flying to the Chandelier Islands to test the product on the oil that's leaking now in the Gulf of Mexico, but that's been delayed. He still wants to do it to prove that his product indeed does work. We've been asking BP all afternoon, why not use his product to clean up that leak in the Gulf? And we have no reply just yet. We hope to have one for you tonight on ABC 26 News.